Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 27, I think, of Pokemon Yellow Randomized Nuzlocke. In today's episode, well, rather, in the last episode, we checked out the Safari Zone, got ourselves the HMs that we needed from there, HM for Strength, HM for Surf, and we basically didn't get our first encounter. It was a wild neat arena, I believe, but, of course, Safari Zone, they love to run away, don't they? But we're on our way towards... Vermilion City slash Lavender Town, that area once again, because I want to get some more training done for the team before we take on Koga, because his levels are going to be kind of scary. But speaking of scary, let's start with Gary for our team recap, our level 34 Gyarados, now above 100 for the attack stat, with Surf, Dragon Rage, Bite, and Blizzard. Next is Guar, our level 34 Primate. Not quite at 100 for the attack step, but getting close. Low Kick, Karate Chop, Rock Slide, and Leer. Next is Buster, our Haunter at level 34. With Psychic, Confuse Ray, Hypnosis, and Thunder. Blaze, our Viridian Forest Charizard, is up next at level 33 with Ember, Scratch, Growl, and Leer. We have Jiggles, the Wigglytuff, next up at level 33 with Body Slam, Double Slap, Sing, and Defense Curl. And last but not least, our Digging Medusa, the Onyx, at level 33. Defense is 124, so he has Dig, Rock Throw, Screech, and Bind. So, we're going to say, actually, let's let Medusa get the next level. Now, this video is coming up on, of course, Thursday, if you're watching it when it first came out, when it was first published. I was going to record a different video for today. Fork over all your cash when you lose to me, kid. That's not how that works. You get a portion of what I have, not the whole thing. But I was recording for Pokemon TCG Online, and... To be completely honest and, you know, fully admit this, I wasn't getting a lot of good opponents. Like, I was fighting somebody who was using... They put a Fighting Fury Belt tool card onto their, uh... Where do you want to go to? I'll go to Blaze. They gave a Fighting Fury Belt to their Eradicate Break. Fighting Fury Belt only helps basic Pokemon. And, you know, I don't think maybe the opponent knew exactly how the cards all worked, so... That wasn't a very good match, and admittedly, I made a misplay at one point. I was fighting somebody using Trash Lance Garbodor, which does 20 damage times the amount of items in the opponent's discard pile. I thought I did the math right. They should have only hit me for X amount of damage. They hit me for an extra 20, knocked out one of my Pokemon, and I was like, how was that the knockout? And I was just completely dumbfounded at the end of that. So, if need be, I'll use those videos, but I'm going to wait till I have more time later on today to record. And tomorrow, we should see the upload of TCG with... Possibly some better opponents. I'm going to spend some time recording later on tonight. And that's that. What, I'm, what uh, Pokemon am I going to be using? I'm not telling. Because if I encounter somebody out there watching this video when I record tonight, then... I'm just going to scratch you. Then you're going to know what I'm using, and you're going to be prepared for it. But of course, that being said, if your deck strategy is good enough, your opponent can't prepare for it, you should still be able to counter against it. You know, have, have contingencies in place to deal with strong, you know, super effective opponents. That can't be true. It's true. It's called preparation. You gotta be prepared for whatever. I was joking about the money. You're darn right you were just joking. That's my money. Hey, kid, come on. I just got these. Just got these. What do you mean by that? What kind of Pokemon are we gonna see? Five? Leading out with a bell sprout. Alright, that's again something Medusa can't deal with. I'm leading with the right Pokemon, am I not? Let's go back to Blaze, who does need a level up. So if I can hit close to level 40... There we go. My computer decided to pop up an antivirus thing and completely lag me out. Gotta love when it does that. Anyways, we are back and... What was I just saying? I think I was talking about Pokemon Go. If not, that was certainly something that's coming to mind. Today starts Adventure Week in Pokemon Go. So, rock types are going to be more common later on today. For about a week, I think it is, till the 25th. I should have probably gone and Embered you. I don't know what your special stat is like. Definitely, Ember is the way to go. Did I have my attack stat lowered? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so I'm going to try to do some recording for Pokemon Go since there is an actual event in-game to showcase. I wonder what new rock types I'll be finding. I've been saying there could be a possible Wild Tyranitar at some point, which would definitely blow your mind if you see that in the wild. I think there was one around here back when Gen 2 first came out, and people were all hyped up. A few people managed to catch it. We started seeing Tyranitar appear in a lot of gyms. Not that I'm upset with that. Double weak to fighting? Well, I didn't have a lot of fighting attacks to make use of. I'm confused? Huh. Jiggles, it is your time, buddy. But, uh, yeah, I didn't have a lot of fighting attacks to use, but I've got some decent potential to take on things such as Tyranitar. I'm not worried about them, even though they get above, like, 3,000 CP. Oh, but, quite fortunately, I managed to get the last candy I needed to evolve Slayer the Dragonair into Dragonite eventually. Are you going to blow up on me? You're going to blow up on me. I think we can handle you. If we can handle a Geodude self-destruct, Jiggles, I'm not worried about this from a Voltorb, unless it's a critical hit. 
Even a critical, I don't think would have gotten the knockout. Not bad. I like when I'm not scared of self-destruct. Why not? Because it was a Voltorb. They have terrible attack stat. Maybe. I think. It's hard to know. You only live once, so I live as an outlaw. Team Rocket rules! I saw somebody wearing a Team Rocket hat the other day, and I complimented them on it, and I said, uh, well, he said, most of his friends are more into the, the goody two-shoe side of things. And I said, yeah, but who doesn't love Jesse and James? And he said, and Meowth. And I was like, that's right. Get it? Meowth, that's right. Anyway, that's just me rambling. So, the uh, computer. Another reason I didn't really get a lot of stuff recorded for the TCG, because I had to restart my computer twice. I recorded the deck building part of the video, and you shouldn't have a grass attack. You can dodge rock throw, apparently. There's a grass attack. It's called Sleep Powder. Uh, did I put the Poke Flute away? Nope. And there we go. Replaces Awakenings permanently in Gen 1. But yeah, the computer kept lagging out, and I had to restart twice after I recorded the deck building thing. That took, like, basically, say about 20 minutes, because it restarted once. Sometimes what happens, my computer, the drivers don't kick in properly. Like, my keyboard wasn't working. The mouse probably wasn't going to be working, so I had to completely restart. Would you have Absorb? I think you can get Absorb. Let's go to... i go to Jiggles. I think you can handle this, Jiggles. If not, I'll potion you up. We'll be good. Scratch attack, what's that going to do? Nothing. Alright, Body Slam. Can't Effect Spore me. You got no Effect Spore ability in this generation, which is nice. But, yes, I've said before, the computer is... I don't know. It keeps kind of coming and going. It seems to be on its way out one day. The next day, it's working fine. I don't know what to make of it. I gotta get a new one at some point regardless, though. No, wrong! Actually, right. New computer is definitely gonna be helpful. I'm afraid of bikers. They look so ugly and mean. It's kind of nasty to say, but maybe it's true. Oh, you're a little cutie. Aw, thank you. I try. What Pokemon do you have? Since you seem to like cute things. You got two Pokemon. The first cute thing is gonna be a shelter. But again, that's something Medusa cannot deal with. Why are they hitting us with all these water and grass types? Let's go to our Thundering Buster. Why not? Now, speaking of Buster, reminds me of something, but I won't mention it just yet. It's, uh, I think, was it yesterday during the news thing, news update video thing, I mentioned there was something I had going on later on yesterday. You're going to see it. I'm going to, once it's finally, you know, uploaded and stuff, I'll post a comment, or comment, I'll post a link to it. I'll probably make an intro video to send you to whatever video this is, but for the first time, Professor Chaz has been invited to join another YouTube channel for one of their videos, which is actually pretty cool. That proves I'm going up in the world of YouTube. People want me to get involved. Now, admittedly, it was more because I had something that they wanted to make use of, but they had to bring me along with it, you know? They weren't just going to take my item. You look so cute, too. Thank you. I try, as I say. I forgive you. I could take it. So do I want to head back to heal... That would be the smart thing. Let's deal with one last trainer, then I'll bike on back. I think I still have my bicycle. I'm not into it, but okay, let's go! Why would you not be into it? It's Pokemon. We battle for fun and profit. Bird Keeper. Two Pokemon. Leading with a bird. Raticate. Nowhere near looking like a bird. But, fortunately, we resist your normal type attacks. And this is not a Raticate break, so therefore the Fighting Fury Belt does nothing, as I mentioned earlier. See... When it comes to Pokemon TCG, I like to show off creative ideas, and I'll say that was a creative idea, but they just didn't know how to play the cards properly, unfortunately. But a lot of times, I just can't show off certain videos where it's the exact same thing we've seen before. Like what I'm saying, I had somebody... Well, actually, the first match I was trying to record, which lagged out completely, the computer basically just froze up, it was, uh... What did they do? It was another one of those decks where... You're going to play an Ultra Ball, discard all cards from hand. Oh, you get Hoopa EX. You play Hoopa EX, you draw out a bunch of EXs and Shaman EX. You play everything out, you play Shaman, draw six cards. That is so commonly done, it's boring. You know, I don't like to show boring, repetitive stuff if I can help it. I knew it! Not that it's not a good strategy, it's just like, I want to see new things. Winning, losing, doesn't matter in the long run. So let's go ahead and... I'm going to push onward a little bit more. There should be at least one more trainer that we can take on. Also, I forgot, new encounters today. Except I can't cut through that bush to find the new encounter today. I think I'd cut through every bush to find encounters on these roots. I could uh, fish at one point, though. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Calm down. 
So these encounters, I'm probably going to say, let's just wait and get the grass encounters. They'll have to wait. Biker wants to fight. Did I get an encounter on the Silence Bridge yet? I don't think I have. I could fish for that one, but I'd rather wait for a grass encounter. So who wants to take this thing on? I would like to use Jiggles, but he's too weak right now. Let's go with our Blizzarding Gary. After this, we will go back and heal. Wait, what am I thinking? There is grass outside of this, uh... With this, uh... The cut bush. I can get an encounter right now. I think I will do that. So Victory Bell falls through the powerful blizzard. We don't take poison damage, thankfully. Nidoran male. Sorry, female. Completely mixed up that. I'm going to go for Surf Attack. Is this a knockout? It's not super effective, but it is stab. The special attack is not crazy amazing, but it's still a knockout. Good old Gary, not taking any poison damage. Kakuna. I think Surf would be good for you, too. Your special stat is pretty bad in Gen 1. It's probably still pretty bad nowadays, too, but I know Beedrill got a nice boost to special defense when Gen 2 came out. At least making it useful against, well, not really against, uh, psychic types, but at least maybe somewhat resistant to it. Now is the chance for Medusa to do something, although she's already leveled up. We gotta lead Jiggles next. Goes for the Thunder Wave, no effect, we're gonna dig away. All those times that she wanted to dig out of Victory, not Victory Road, uh, Rock Tunnel. Now you're getting your digging quotient, quota, quota, quota? Digging quota? What is the term? Quota? Yeah. You're getting your digging out, basically. Alright, Biker is defeated. Arg, lost, get lost. I'm working on it. What, what, what? What do you want? Alright, let's go ahead and antidote. Heal up Gary. Alright, so let's go ahead and get ourselves an encounter, because as I remember, there is grass down this way. Alright, so I've got my list of Pokemon here, see what we already caught, what we haven't caught. What is our first encounter going to be? Marowak. I do not think I have you yet. Let me just double check to be sure. We do not. Alright, now the next thing is, do we manage to get the capture? I can easily rock throw you with no serious damage. You could Bone Club me, but I got good defense. I think we'll be okay. That does nothing. And there's the Bone Club, and you miss. You know, let's start squeezing you with the Bind, never mind. Alright, we're gonna have to switch. We can easily go into Buster. Nope, what am I thinking? We don't levitate. Huh, Gary is the safest bet. I could Dragon Rage this, of course, lower it by 40. See how much HP it has remaining. So how are we gonna put this thing to sleep? I could bring Jiggles in, because, well, I want to heal him up first. But yeah, Jiggles would be the best bet, because of course Bone Club's super effective on Buster. I can even just try a ball now. I'm just going to try that, see if we can get the capture. Problem here, though, is once I finally make this capture, I don't know what to nickname Marowak, because my main Marowak in my playthroughs has never had a nickname, because I have it basically it's supposed to be the Cubone that was in Lavender Town that its mother passed away from Team Rocket. So... I kept it as it was. I think I know what I can call you. Alright, anyway, let's make sure we can make this capture, though. That is it right there. Marowak is captured. I'll make a note of it right now before I forget. Marowak. Add it to the Pokedex. Marowak, the Bone Keeper Pokemon. See, I already knew that. Small and weak. Come on. This Pokemon is adept with its Bone Club. It has grown more vicious over the ages. Want to give a nickname? Sure thing. Now, I was thinking one name or the other. Let's just go ahead and go with a simple... Scully. Of course, it has a skull on its head, and it's uh, named after Dana Scully, one of the characters from The X-Files. So I wonder what else we could have found. Before we do any other encountering, we're going to go ahead and heal back up and continue on training our Pokémon. I want to get this recorded. Like, the reason I couldn't do the TCG was because... When I record those videos, there are a lot of... Where's my bike? Why did I take my bike away? I should probably put it back to the top of the list, but I'm going to deposit it again, I just know it. But the editing, it takes a little bit longer with the TCG videos. So if I can do those later today, I'll have plenty of time to edit them and get them ready for an upload tomorrow. Whereas Pokemon Yellow, as long as I don't lose any Pokemon in a video, and I probably just jinxed it, then the editing is very minimal for these videos, and I can get these uploaded much quicker. So, yeah, I kind of... I usually feel bad when I am behind on getting the TCG videos up, because I usually like to aim for Wednesdays, but 
sometimes things just happen. Computers decide to start lagging out on you, and you can't really do anything about that. Alright, so you know what? We're gonna move the bike. If I deposit it again by accident, maybe I won't even get the bike back anymore. I'll just be like, give up on the bike. It clearly doesn't want to be in my list where it's supposed to be. So I'm going one by one, because that's the only way you can move the uh, bike around in this generation. You can't go, like, I could move it to the top, but it replaces the two items that you've chosen to switch. Alright, Jiggles, you're in the lead. Buster is now the highest level. Yeah, we should hit level 40 by the time we get back down here to take on Koga. Alright, and in fact, since I just made use of the bike and moved it around, might as well hop on, get back to where we were. So, I'm trying to think, there are three routes, I believe, that connect from Fuchsia City to Vermilion City. We haven't gotten an encounter on any of them just yet, except this one here. Oh, there's an item there, too. I wonder what kind of crazy items we're going to find as things go on, because we already found a Master Ball. Have we seen any wild legendary birds? I don't think we have, because, see, I'm the kind of person that, even though I have the Master Ball, I might not want to use it. Because I like the challenge of regular Pokeballs. Can you guys see me over here? No, you can't. But we can't get the, uh, the grass up there just yet. Perfect! I need to burn some time! Now wait, are there... Are there four roots here? I don't think so. I think this grass is the same as the grass that is... to the right of this fenced maze area. I believe, anyway. Alright, this thing's going to start hardening up, but uh, no it's not, because we're going to take it down with a double slap attack. We're not going to miss that. Excellent stuff. Kakuna. I was going to say Matata, but that's too obvious. Magikarp. How much does a double slap do to Magikarp? Oh wait, you're going to tackle me? Four damage? Yeah, Magikarp is kind of okay defensively. Offensively? Not whatsoever. I guess... No, I've heard tales of... A Magikarp being, uh, I think, baton passed over a, what is it, a belly drum, and with Focus Sash or something like that, it could do a massive flail attack. Like, it'd be cool just to see it, like, you know, try this out, go ahead and use the Z Splash, and then see what Tackle or Flail can do, because it could probably do some pretty decent damage. By the way, yeah, there's an Articuno. Did I care? No, I knew Jiggles had this. So many legendary birds, we can deal with them easily, and we gain a level for Jiggles. Of course, no new moves, being a stone evolution Pokemon. What? You! That's me. Raising Pokemon is a drag, man. No, it's not. You just are terrible at it, that's all. Guar, buddy, take the lead. Let's see who you get to take on. Pokemon fight? Cool! Rumble! Pokemon Rumble. Was he predicting the Pokemon Rumble series as early back as Gen 1? Possibly so, as a Drowsy comes in against our fighting type. Hmm. Sounds crazy. I'm gonna stay in. We're five levels above. Drowsy, I believe, is more defensive than anything. And it goes for disable instead of something useful, at which point, get the knockout. There we go. I probably shouldn't be risky like that, but why not? I mean, it's just a drowsy. That could be scary. But I think we can take that out with our Karate Chop. And we're not disabled anymore, and we're faster than the Raichu. I forget how fast Primate is. Hmm. Now, this might hurt a little bit, but I'm not too scared of it. No Paralysis means Karate Chop finishes you off. Guar gets the knockout all by himself. Good stuff. I was so sure we lost him when that uh, Golem self-destructed, though. Blown away by a Primate. You know who'd win? You and me, one-on-one. -on -one. Sadly, that's not how Pokemon battles work, sir. You send your Pokemon into the battle. Calm yourself down. Another couple of trainers. There's really not much to talk about right here. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon? You know, I've actually seen a fair number of them. If you open your eyes. In fact, there's a guy right across from your spot here. You can see him. He's got one. You've got a Tentacruel. You can trade for Articuno, maybe. I don't know. Now, I've heard rumors... Again, talking about Pokemon Go, that legendaries are supposed to be released maybe this summer? Now, I'm the kind of person, like, there are people out there that are just so, like, why haven't you given us legendaries yet? And people get all upset about it. I'm okay with there not being legendaries, like, I would, if they're gonna put them in, I kind of want them as, well, I don't know. I either want them as a special event where it's like, remember how in the initial trailer for Pokemon Go it showed Mewtwo in Times Square and everybody was battling against it, and they all weakened it up, and... I would like to see something like that, but in a way, I almost want to see it just, uh, like, you know, Wild Zapdos appear on your radar, because that would be kind of neat, too. The three legendary Pokemon are all birds of prey. 
So I'm going to go ahead and potion up good old Guar, since we're kind of far from the center. Now, something that my nephew did say about as far as legendary encounters, he gave me a pretty cool idea that he thought up. We ride out here because there's more room. You know how in Gen 2, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune roam around the map, right? Wouldn't it be neat if, like, when a Pokémon is generated... Have you heard about the legendary bird Pokémon? The guy beside me has one! Ah, oh, really? Anyway, um... It'd be cool if... So when a Pokémon is generated in Pokémon Go, it's given, you know, coordinates on the map, right? Like, latitude, longitude kind of thing, and that's where it stays. But what if the roaming legendaries are given a moving latitude, longitude, like, you know, GPS signal? That would be really cool because, as my nephew said, watch it show up at, for, you know, in my area, the uptown St. John area, the Moose Statue. You see a, an Ente. Then all of a sudden, it moves to a different stop. So you have to follow it around town to try to capture it and encounter it. That would really be cool because you're actually racing around hunting down this one specific Pokemon. That would be neat to do. Wipeout! Yeah, there goes your Articuno. It's cool you made your Pokemon so strong. Might is right, and you know it. I prefer strategy over just brute force, personally. Let's leave Medusa again. That worked out so well for us the first time. But yep, stay tuned for tomorrow for a Pokemon TCG video. Hopefully I'll get some decent opponents, decent footage recorded for it. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? I would like to, but we gotta wait till we get cut. Before we get cut, we gotta get our badge from Koga. Before we get our badge from Koga, we gotta train up as we see an Aerodactyl come in. Not bad, Medusa can deal with this. We have ourselves a rock throw. We're gonna miss? Of course we're not gonna miss. We've missed too many of them thus far in the playthrough. We land the rock throw. It's not going to knock it out, though. It's going to be a two-hit KO. It's interesting to see Aerodactyl is faster, and it is a pretty fast Pokemon, but so is Onix. Maybe nowhere near as fast. I like Medusa's combo that I have in current games, you know, Sun and Moon, with the... She has the sturdy ability, and we're switching, of course, into... Go to good old... Yeah, go to... Yeah, let's go to Gary. Let's think of Gary or Jiggles. Gary or Jiggles. But the combo is... I have Medusa hold weakness policy. And... So uh, there's a lot of things that Onyx is weak to. That's Dragon Rage. And by making sure... Well, we have Sturdy. We make sure we don't get hit out... And knocked, out no, no, knocked out by one hit. And I also go with Rock Polish for her first attack. Which is going to sharply boost her speed. When they hit me with a Water or Grass or whatever move. We survive with Sturdy. And weakness policy activates, sharply boosting the attack stat, as well as the special attack stat. But more importantly, we just basically have more physical offense, doubled attack stat, doubled speed. As long as we don't have any speed priority. Now that I think about it, it wouldn't be bad to combine Medusa with uh, the Psychic Terrain. Because as long as they can't outspeed me with the priority move, we can get powerful damage off with her moves of Iron Head, Rock Slide, and Earthquake. Why did you consider that? Shot down in flames! Sorry about that, but yeah. Bird Pokemon are my true love. Alright, Route 14, west of Fuchsia City. There's an item in that rock, right to the two spaces right, two spaces down. I'll swing around and grab that in a bit as we take on another trainer. TMs are on sale in Celadon, but only a few people have HMs. Did I even... I should go buy one of each of those TMs. No, maybe not. I think they were all the same, if I remember. And plus, as I think I said before, when I randomized the game, I didn't I didn't know how to really randomize the attacks that much. There's a way you can randomize it so that the attacks that each TM gives you are random, but I don't think I did that. I just randomized where the, the wild TMs are picked up at. The gym leaders, of course, still give you the same TMs. Medusa hits level 35. Nice. We see Ghastly comes in. That's a dig attack, too. No levitating. Good stuff. And that might be... I got time for one more trainer. I'll squeeze out one last battle to get this taken care of. And then I'm off to... Well, I'm going to save this video, of course. And off to see if any rock types have started appearing yet in Pokemon Go. Teach Pokemon moves of the same element type for more power. He's talking about the stab bonus. Yes, I just said same type attack bonus. Bonus. The extra bonus is for super bonus. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't get that item just yet. I was going to see if I can sneak around everybody and grab that item, but we'll get this trainer over here. Pulling him out of the way, too. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Do you have any actual bird Pokemon? And as you send your Pokemon out, I'm just going to open up Go. 
Let's just see if anything has appeared in the area. It shouldn't be until later on tonight, my time, that they actually start showing up. But you just never know. They might decide to toss them out early. All right, Jiggles, you can deal with a Psyduck. In my neighborhood right now, I see Hoot Hoot, Krabby, Venonat, Ladybug, Pidgey. No rock types. So it is not quite time just yet. But during the event, you get extra candy. You get more items from Pokestops. Pokeballs are on sale cheaper. Muff. We're going to Body Slam Muff. I was going to say, I'm surprised it did that much damage, but it was a critical hit. Double Slap gets the not knockout. We miss. Disable. I almost wouldn't mind if you disabled my double slap, then I wouldn't be tempted to go for it. Anyways, next in is a Kadabra. That is scary. Hang in there, Jiggles. Nice. Even a critical wouldn't have gotten us. Okay. That's what had me concerned. And last Pokemon is going to be... Well, Jiggles gets a level for that. Very cool stuff. Next up is a Charizard. Well, I could easily go to Gary. Let's have Charizard versus Charizard to end off this video. Why not? See what I didn't teach Rock Slide Blade. We could one hit KO this thing. They're gonna growl me. Hmm. Let's go for Scratch. We might get Criticals. I can't wait until. Hey, Critical. I can't wait until Blaze starts learning new attacks. Once he gets level 36, that's when he would have normally evolved from Charmeleon. So that's when he'll start learning attacks. And they're gonna be locked into Rage, getting more damage each time. That was a critical. It's kind of good. Criticals ignore their own attack boost. I mean, as a player, it doesn't help you at all. I'm, well, it doesn't help your Pokemon, I should say. But when the opponent gets a critical with a plus three rage now, I'm okay with them not getting that boost. This should be the knockout, I think. With a critical scratch, Blaze beats the Charizard. And that is that for Bird Keeper name insert here. Not ready yet. And a little bit of money there too. They need to learn better moves. So at this point we are now going to save up the game and I'm going to get this video ready for upload which means tomorrow we'll have the Pokemon TCG featuring the Pokemon GX of choice from Guardians Rising, but that is for tomorrow. So for today, if you enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Yellow, feel free to drop a like down below of course. And wait, did I upload a yellow yesterday? What did I upload yesterday? News, that's right. I like to sort of break up the different kinds of uploads throughout the week, so as long as they're not back-to-back, -back, yellow and yellow, I think we're good. But of course, if you've missed any episodes of Pokemon Yellow thus far, there's a link in the description to the full Nuzlocke randomized playlist down there. Not that the playlist is randomized, but the game is randomized. But if you want to see some more videos that I have done, there's a link during the outro to a couple videos of such, as well as a link to subscribe to the channel for some daily Pokemon content, such as what you're seeing here, yellow randomized Nuzlocke, we've got Pokemon TCG coming up tomorrow, Pokemon news update video thingies, usually once every week or every other week, and coming up next weekend, I think, another Pokemon Sun and Moon online competition, the International Challenge May. So stay tuned for all that good stuff. Until then, we are now done, so Professor Chaz is signing off. Thanks once again for watching today, and I will catch you next time.